Uh, yes, well, welcome back to the DreamWorks uh, YouTube channel for Airship. Hey, uh, I had a really nice conversation with Todd uh, just a little while ago, and we were discussing how he was going to be installing Airship on what machine where he is, and how might that conflict with you know things he's got going on on his machine, and was there a way that he could actually control when things come to him rather than people shipping to him directly? when it might cause him some chaos. And and I said, yes, that's absolutely, totally possible. Um, it's a thing we call cargo. So just really quickly here, what I did, and cargo is basically <laughs> nothing more than files and folders. So I called it uh, DWS underscore cargo demo. And if I drill down into that and look at the files, I always have these underscores and clicks and links. This is basically just a whole bunch of little test files that I created a folder, I put them in, I called it DWS underscore cargo underscore demo. Good. So then what I did was I associated it with the project that you guys are using to ship called DWS underscore TFE. So now, for example, if uh, any one of you are, that are involved in the project from that, that have the ability to send and receive files, you can go to shipments, create a new shipment, choose your project, it's the only one you have, and <clears throat> now when you get to the second tab, choose cargo, you can send local files as you always have, but there's also this option. So in the case of Todd, uh, he would be looking for people to create cargo, like I'd showed, and he would be able to log in, click cargo, okay, and then he can drill into it and say, well, I, I don't really need all of this. W frankly, all I need is I need that file, and I need this file, and I need this file. So he has the ability to not only determine when the stuff's coming at him, but what exactly is it that he wants. So he's picked those files. He picks the options, and maybe sends a note to himself, I me, uh, and then he can choose to ship it to him. And he says go. So the whole point is, it, it's still the same project. There is now cargo being created by people in your in your project that is being associated with this project that people can now go in and select specific files, add notes, send it to themselves, and go. So he could, you know, also think about this. He could say, okay, well, I, I'm going to be doing something on this project. It is going to be this cargo. I am going to select these specific files. It might be, I mean, this isn't at all big. He might have 50 gigs worth of stuff that he wants to pull at him. When he goes to options, he can also say, well, I want to delay the shipping. Well, what does that mean? <clears throat> well, he wants to send it today, Thursday. But in his time zone, maybe he only wants, he doesn't want to send it until, uh, say, uh, 1800 hours, which is 6 p.m. That's his time zone in New York. So he can pick his destination and say go. And what's going to happen is that this is not going to activate until this time of day at his location. Or he can be uh, a little more manual about it and say, well, what I really want to do is I'll pick the project, I've picked the files that I want, I've sent me a note, I've sent it to me, and go. <clears throat> so he's going to do it live whatever time of day where he's stepping up and walking away. Anyway, I just thought I'd show, show that with everybody because it's really a fun feature. Uh, and if you have any questions about how to create cargo or how to associate it with a project, please contact me. Thanks.